here with Safi Joseph Jr. Safi, first of all, congratulations on your West Virginia Derby. We had you on the show at the beginning of the Saratoga meet. You gave us the plan for the horse, and the horse succeeded. How'd the horse come out of the race? He came out of the race well. Um, obviously, most of the time, the fans doesn't go the way we want, but thankfully, they did. And he ran a, a career best race in that race to beat we the people who's a good horse, especially on the slop. So we're very thankful to the whole team for having him ready. Will we see that horse again up at Saratoga this year? There's a possibility. It's going to be between the between the Travers and the Pennsylvania Derby. Nothing's really set in stone yet. Obviously, the Pennsylvania Derby timing wise is better, but he's done so well training up here that the Travers a mile and a quarter. Um, maybe it's something that we're definitely considering, and we'll decide probably next week on what we're going to do. You got a beautiful four-year-old going today, awesome Jerry, uh, cutting back from his last time out at eight furlongs at Churchill to seven here. How do you like the race setup? Um, he's they have some speed in there. He's a, he's done better as a horse that since we've kind of not rushed him early in his race in his, in his last recent races, um, he's run much better. He's uh, it's kind of three oak already had a hard campaign and tailed off a bit, and then this year he's since he got to Kentucky, his form really went forward. Um, he's run some big races in Kentucky, and hopefully he can do the same today at Saratoga. Last question for you, right behind you in the barn, what a barrio. Uh, didn't get the best trip, didn't get the best opportunity in the Haskell. Uh, where's the horse pointed, and will we see it against Saratoga this year? Yeah, nothing's really uh, set in stone. I mean, obviously, Mama was very disappointed. There's um, many thoughts that go through your head when a horse runs like that, but um, he's going to continue on training. He seems fresh and happy, and he's probably have his first breeze back this week. And we don't want to really set a target right now. We just want to train him a couple, work him a few times, and see how he's doing before we decide where we're going to go with him. Well, continue your successes of 2022 meet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jonathan Thomas back at bar number 32 on the backstretch of Saratoga Racetrack. You have a horse, go, two horses going tomorrow in the Galway, Ben Bag and Emperor Tigress. Uh, can you tell us a little about uh, Emperor Tigress? Winner here last time out about 21, 22 days ago. Um, horse hasn't had a time to work. Is that normal for you? You don't work them between the races like that? No, she actually did. She, she did? Yeah, she breezed on the turf. Uh, I can't remember if it was Friday or Sunday off the top of my head, but she went 50 and won. Breezed really well. Uh, kind of gave us a little encouragement to go ahead and maybe wheel her back on short rest. Horse is now two for two, um, one for one on the turf when it came over. Is this going to be your turf horse? I don't. I mean, I, I'd say she's probably a little more adept on the grass, uh, but we, you know, you never know till you try. But just with her action, we thought she'd probably appreciate it. Stakes race like this, you send out two tomorrow. Any particular reason why you're bringing Ben back after a win off a win itself from Monmouth Park uh, just on July 22nd? I feel like five and a half is a little bit of a specialty distance for these uh, turf sprinters. And uh, this is really the last one, uh, um, certainly here in New York. And uh, at least against straight three-year-olds, I think they did away with the little stake at Belmont or the aqueduct meet, the new aqueduct meet. It used to be the floral park. So I can't find a lot on the horizon for them. So they're both doing well. And, you know, that's the best time to run them. Last question for you. Now we're going to change over to the dirt. But uh, we've been speaking to a couple people this morning. There's been a number of articles out about the dirt, the dirt rail here, it being a little too deep. Um, any comments on how you think this dirt's been playing? I mean, I, for one, I haven't handicapped enough to have a real opinion. And then two, you know, we've had a limited amount of dirt starters up here. And uh, if they ran disappointing, I couldn't blame the track for it. <laughs> so I, I honestly couldn't comment appropriately on that. Well, I appreciate your time today, and good luck in the Galway tomorrow. All right, thank you. Here with Miguel Clement and Aaron Duchambeau from the Clement Stables. Day one of the day one was yesterday. Did you guys buy anything? I think we got one or two coming our way. Yeah, it's a good day. What do you think of the health of the of the auction so far? Yeah, very strong market. Very, very strong. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice cut out. Very nice sales. What do you think about the pricing so far of the horses? In range, of a little higher than normal. I think everything's a little bit more expensive than it was last year, which is ironic the economy is not doing as strong as this year as it was perhaps. But um, it's a strong market, great run stock, and the um, sales are stronger than ever. Any concern with the full count we had? You know, a little bit lower on numbers, COVID sort of played into that. Do you think horses are probably going a little bit more because there's not as many? I don't know. It's definitely a concern. Uh, I don't think the elite tracks and elite sales will suffer from it. I think the middle tier of the smaller tracks, the middle markets, and the smaller sales will definitely struggle. Um, just the, you know, the quality always settles. So with this blood stock sales and racetracks, the quality will always be there. Last question for you. Will you guys be here next Monday for the New York Bread? Are you Are you interested in that New York Bread program? Of course. Of course. We'll be here. Yeah. Well, good luck with your bidding, and congrats so far on the meet. 